Hello everyone and welcome to a new Power Query challenge. I called this challenge Power Query Flex Filter. Let's go back to Excel and have a look on our challenge for today. On the left hand side we have a table containing the data for 20 employees. I have four columns, first one containing the names, second column the ID number, third column the band, fourth column is the department in which each and every employee is working. Now I have a small table containing only one column. I need to use this table in order to search inside the employees table. The output of the search will be coming in this table and this table is connected to Power Query. Let's try to search by name at the beginning. So I'm going to copy any name of this table. Let's take Ibrahim Amr, Control C and Control V. Right click and refresh and here you go. You have the data for Ibrahim Amr, ID number, the band and also the department information technology. So all is good so far. What if I need to search using the ID number? All I need to do is to change the header of the column. So I'm going to type here ID and let me select any ID. Let's say 1005 and hit enter. Right click and refresh and here you go. You have the employee with the ID number 1005, Salma Adil Ben C and working in supply chain department. What if I need to search in the band? Let me try the band. I'm going to change the header again to band and let me select something like band A. Right click and refresh. Here you go. You have all the employees working in band A. I can add more bands. Let me put something like band D. Right click and refresh. And here you go. I have all the employees with bands A and D. Also, I can just search with the department. Let me type here department. Let me select supply chain and finance. Control C, Control V, right click and refresh. And here you go. All employees working in departments, supply chain and finance. That's why I call this flex filter. You can just change the header of the search column and then add the data you need to search for and all done automatically using Power Query. I think in previous challenges we did some challenge regarding filters. However, this one is very unique because it's a flexible. You just use the same table and the output is depending on the header of the column. If you manage to solve the challenge or even you have a partial solution for the challenge, please share it with me on the email that will appear on the screen right now and also use the subject that will appear on the screen as well. The solution will be next week. If you manage to send me the solution, you will see your name at the end of the video as usual. Best of luck and I will catch you in the solution video. Bye.